today we are going shopping. Book shopping to be more specific. <laughs> Are gonna go book shopping but we are also gonna go shopping for a planner and to a super fun store super fun stop that I think it's just gonna be really cool and like niche and so I'm super excited for that and of course we're also gonna be going book shopping but we have three stops because I'm gonna try to get all my shopping done for like the entire month in one day because shopping is not really my favorite thing to do, but I do love book shopping. So I figure I would just add on a couple of other little things I need to shop for, such as a planner. I will say, however, I'm very picky with my planners, so I'm not sure I'm gonna find one that is up to my standard, but we shall try. If you are new to this channel, I'm Angela Ann. I am the friend of all the good YA book recs and literary lifestyle tips. I guess today's video falls more in the lifestyle tips side of things because we are just gonna be shopping and then I will go over the books that I buy a little bit with you all. But it should be it should be a fun day and to kick this day off i am going to listen to evermore by taylor swift because yes i am that basic person who listens to taylor swift music taylor swift is so good if you like taylor swift too comment down below what your favorite song is off of the evermore album or off of any album really let's go stop one let's look for a planner slash hopefully i don't find anything else but there's a chance that i might So I have acquired the planner and now I am going to go to the first bookstore. Yes, there's gonna be two different bookstores in this vlog. So let's get on the road to the first one. Now we are going into the bookstore. The first bookstore I'm going to is Books A Million. And what I love about Books A Million is they have a really great discount section for young adult books. So fingers crossed that there's some good discount young adult books. So I bought a couple of books. They, uh, I got two books. One was a hardcover and one was a paperback for like $13 for both of them, which is a really awesome deal. And one of them I've already read. Does anyone else ever buy books that you've already read just because you enjoyed them so much, but you read them from the library. So then you want to own the actual copy. And then the other one I haven't read. So again, at the end of this shopping vlog, there will be a giant haul of all the books and stuff that I bought. But now we're going on to our really fun stop. All the stops are fun because I'm literally buying like books and planners, but this is the, this is the like unique stop. Okay, so now I'm here. I'm super excited. I am very curious about what this is going to be like, but I saw it in a TikTok and it looked like something out of Diagon Alley and it's kind of a witchcraft store. So I'm going to go in and explore and see just what it is. Okay, so now we are at Barnes and Nobles. I had to go on the highway to get here and low key, I don't know if anyone else has highways like this near them, but there's like exits that really shouldn't be exits or they should have designed them differently because like you have to get over super fast. So I had to like get over in front of a truck in order to exit because he was like coming off the entrance ramp and it was just really chaotic. But we are here, we are safe. We are going to go and buy some books. Woo. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished at Barnes and Nobles and to be honest, I didn't buy anything. I had a gift card, but I kind of did it to myself. I like went in thinking I was going to get a specific book. The second book in the From Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrot and I was like dead set on that and then they didn't have it. So I just felt disappointed and didn't buy anything. And honestly, the selection wasn't the best today. I don't know if it was because it was so close to Christmas or what. Now I think what we're going to do is run and get some coffee. So excited to go to this coffee shop. It's in one of my favorite areas in Ohio and it's also one of my absolute 
absolute favorite coffee shops I've ever been to. It is just a really quirky, fun coffee shop. It's just very eclectic, so I'll show you guys some footage when I'm inside. And I don't know, I'm probably not gonna stay there just because my mom is high risk and I'm currently at home with her, so I don't wanna put her at risk by drinking the coffee there. It's also in a really cute area, like I said. It's one of my favorite areas of Ohio. It's just like a really cutesy street, very Midwestern, but also very eclectic, so I really like that combo. back at home now and we're gonna do a little haul but really quick I just wanted to come on here and say too sorry I didn't have more images of the coffee shop that area used to be really vibrant it's really sad because a lot of small businesses are now boarded up and there was like this person kind of leering at me when I was taking those shots like this old man just didn't want to linger very long but it is really sad to see and to me that's just a reminder of how important it is to shop small and shop local if you are considering purchasing something maybe consider going to you know like a small coffee shop instead of Starbucks or something like that of course I still go to Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts especially because people give me gift cards there and right now I have a lot of gift cards because January is my birthday month and then Christmas also just happened so I thought as part of this haul as well I can show you guys the books that I got for my birthday and for Christmas as well as what I bought today let's start with what I bought today so first we have the new planner and it says breathe in and breathe out because in 2021 I just want to learn to live more intentionally and live even more in the present and if you look through it it has some stickers which are cute I don't know if I'll use them here in my journal but I especially like like this page I like that make magic every day and best day ever woo woo <laughs> I think it's really fun and then each month has like a little quote that I think is really fun and bright I've already started kind of filling out a little bit of my content calendar and then this is what the pages look like and then I just have rent due because that's when my rent is due but here's where I write down my task for the day here's where I do my daily gratitude here's where I'm going to do my weekly reflection so that's kind of how I have it set up and I really like that because it's kind of equally focused on what I need to do and equally focused on gratitude and mindset. And then each page is a little quote. So this page, for example, says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. I just really liked how bright and fun this planner was and I'm super excited to use it for the new year. At Books A Million, I got two books. So I got Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. I'm super excited about this book. It is a YA thriller. And as you all know, I am obsessed with YA thrillers. And then the other book that I got is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus which I told you about a little bit in the car this is the one that I've read and I just wanted to own it <laughs> that's so weird I know but I've got it from the library and now I really wanted to own it so I'm super glad that I have a copy and I really adore this book so there's a chance I'll go back and read it especially because I'm writing a YA thriller right now and I think it could be interesting to study how other people write YA thrillers and just kind of take notes in the margins when I was doing my young adult contemporary I did that with some of my favorite young adult contemporaries and annotated them just to study the writing craft so I might end up doing that with some of the thrillers that I own the other place I went today was a little witchcraft store. Um, you guys saw the b-roll. It was so cute. It looked like it belonged on Diagon Alley. They did such a good job decorating the interior and the exterior. I didn't get any shots of the exterior, but it literally looked like it could have been a building in Diagon Alley. It was so cool. And they had like a cauldron sitting out front and this little like wagon, like medieval wagon type thing with like spell books inside of it. They had an owl, not a real owl, but like a fake owl. And it was just a really awesome store. And I got to talk to the owners. It was really cool to hear their story. So the girl who owns it has been a witch in the area for a while and has been doing like a lot of local healing type stuff and so she just got the money in 2020 to start up her own business and the fact that she can make it through 2020 and especially like a brick and mortar store business is quite impressive and they only source local products which I thought was also really cool and they also have free magic classes every single Friday night which is awesome I don't live here I'm just visiting my family but that would be really cool it was just honestly a really great vibe and I just really liked the little touches they were putting into it just like how attentive they were so I really like the small touches touches they were putting into the store including even just the bag like I know this is simple but it's a little bit nicer than a brown bag so I really liked that what I ended up buying was a little bath tea so it has lavender tea tree chamomile rosemary and lemongrass in it and you just kind of put it in your bath at night and I think this will be really relaxing especially because I like to read in the bath so I'm super excited to use this and they also gave me the magic discount which I thought was super cute that they had that too so again it was just such a 
cute little local store shop local and now on to the books that I got so this one book I'm now currently reading but it is the mistletoe connection by Chelsea Pennington it's still a Christmas book it got here late because the US Postal Service right now but I am super loving it and I actually did a little unboxing of it so I'm gonna put in that unboxing here I wanted to open some fun book mail that I got for you all because I thought hey it's more fun to open it on camera than it is to just haul it so let's open this package oh yay oh my gosh I'm so excited <laughs> So this is actually a self-published book by one of my friends. She sent it to me so I could help promote it on TikTok. She sent it December 5th and it didn't get here until after Christmas, which I feel so bad about, but it is The Mistletoe Connection by Chelsea Pennington. I'm super excited to read this book, even if it is Christmas themed and it's now January. It just seems like a really awesome book. The cover is so cute. I love this cover. She also sent with it some little bookmarks. So it says, all I want for Christmas is books that's so cute and then you can never get a cup of tea uh, a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me so that's so cute and i think she made these and then she also sent a little card that's so sweet this is why i love buying books from self-published authors because they just always put in those like small little touches that the big publishing houses just can't do because it wouldn't be feasible angela i hope you enjoy the book mail and the mistletoe connection happy holidays that's so sweet thank you so much chelsea and and the mistletoe connection definitely look it up on amazon either now or for your next christmas now what we're going to do is the books that i got for christmas and so i got the invisible life of addie larue by b.e schwab i actually read this on christmas day basically and it was such a great book i'm obsessed i did a tier ranking my favorite books of 2020 video and i didn't have that one in it because i bought it after i'd already filmed that video of course but that video is still really fun so i highly recommend checking it out and then i also got burn our bodies down by rory power for christmas i'm super excited to read this. I loved Wilder Girls and I can't wait to dive back into Roy Powers writing style a little bit. I think this might be a thriller but also I think has some sort of like supernatural element to it. I'm not 100% sure. I think with Roy Powers she's one of those authors who I really like to go into her stories knowing as little as possible. Another thriller I bought that I also just want to know as little as possible about is The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. I love Karen M. McManus. I read all of her other books except this one so I'm super excited to read this one. I might do kind of a thrillery vlog. Maybe I should do a thriller reading vlog when I like read multiple of these thrillers. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in a thriller reading vlog. The last book that I got for Christmas is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. I'm so excited to read this book. It's the last one by her that is currently out that I haven't read. I love her. She's my favorite fantasy author. I actually think I'm going to read it near when the second book comes out in November, but it's going to look great on my bookshelf until then. For my birthday, I got two books. So every single year I love to read a book by Brene Brown. Brene Brown is one of my absolute favorite nonfiction writers. I also adore her podcast called Unlocking Us. In 2019, I read Daring Greatly. And then in 2020, I read Rising Strong, which is about how to get over failure and rejection. Both of those are really good. Daring Greatly might be my all-time favorite nonfiction book. And now this year, I'm going to be reading Braving the Wilderness, The Quest for True Belonging, and The Courage to Stand Alone. So something that Brene Brown said on her podcast, when you belong, you belong to yourself first. When you fit in, you belong to others first. I thought that was just such an interesting distinction and I'm super excited to see how she unpacks this and uses research that she's done as a professor with a PhD to back her claims, which I think is really awesome about Brene Brown. It's not just some self-help guru saying stuff they think works. It's definitely scientifically backed with sound research. I love nonfiction books like that. And then the other book I got for my birthday is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. This one just looks so adorable. I'm obsessed with this cover. You all know I love books that deal with kind of like a technique technology element to them. So I'm super excited to read this book. Thank you all so much for going book shopping with me today and sitting through my book haul. I appreciate you all so much and please leave a comment down below any books you've gotten recently or just any comments you have. I would love to chat with you all in the comments and if you really enjoyed this video consider giving it a thumbs up because that really helps in the algorithm and really supports my channel. As always I will see you in my next video and down in the comments.